Eye on those updates there for you. 636 now and this morning, multiple ATM machines were seen up in flames inside a bank in Southeast Fresno. We do want to check in live now with our Gabe Salazar. He's there at the scene this morning to show us what's left behind some of the damages. Hi, Gabe. That's right, Megan. So around 11 p.m. last night, firefighters were called out to this Educational Employees Credit Union Bank located near Clinton and Fine Avenues. If you take a look behind me here, you can see what's left of where the ATM machines used to be. This is located in the outside portion of the building. All over, you can see debris all over the floor. This is fiberglass insulation that used to be at the top portion of where the ceiling was here. You can see some of the light fixtures are cut and scattered just charred debris and ash all over right now it does smell like just burnt plastic and metal if you take a look in closer inside of the building uh crews full with uh cleaning services and restoration services actually came out here to remove some of the standing water all over the floor of inside the building but they were saying that even though the lobby isn't too bad the back end portion of the building where the break room is located is a complete loss they said some portions of the ceiling actually came down as well. But let me uh, show you some video that was taken from last night when flames were billowing from inside. So you can see thick flames billowing from inside of the bank and outside. And officials with the Fresno Fire Department say that those objects are actually uh, the ATM machines that are on fire. Now, this video was taken by a witness who just so happened to be in the area when the fire happened and fire crews arrived and made quick work on putting the flames out. Though the cause of the fire is not confirmed or known at this time, there has been a prolific instances where crooks actually try to use blow torches to get inside the cash boxes of those ATM machines. But that part is not confirmed. This very could have well been unintentional where it could be a short circuit issue, but investigators will be looking into at what actually caused the fire later this morning as they investigate what caused the fire. For now, reporting in Southeast Fresno, Megan, back to you. All right, Kate, thank you for